So in this video, we will learn how to use Laravel Notify in Laravel application. So let's get started with example and let's understand. So what I mean. So first of all, I already have set up Laravel application and there is a crude example. OK, so if I go here and I will create one test test product and click on submit you can see that test test created but there is no success message or any not a flash message are coming over here so what we will do for it so i will use laravel notify composer package over here so what i will do i will simply go here and that's documentation i will simply copy and run this command to install it okay so simply cancel it okay and let me clear this and copy and paste and enter so it will download it laravel notify composer package okay so let's wait a moment okay now it's downloaded now let me go here and this we don't require because it's for older version right now i am using laravel 11 so the next i need to use publish command so i will go here and simply i will copy and paste and hit enter you can see that it's added new uh, directory into the public folder so let me go here and there is a project and public vendor you can see that there is a laravel notify and there is a js and all the files they added over here okay what they required and also they configured into the config folder so let me go here config and there is a notify okay so which uh, theme they want to use and all the things they defined here okay so now what i will do i will simply go here okay and next step what what is that so we need to define properly the add styles okay so what what i need to do simply go here and this is the crude example okay so if i go here into the folder structure resources views and products so what i did i created one layout file and all the other like create edit and index page that i extend the layout okay so into the layout i need to simply go here into the documentation i need to add style css okay simply paste it okay next what i need to do simply add js so i will go here and i will simply add over here okay and next what requirement i need to include the components of notify okay so simply go here and simply paste it out here okay now save it okay now what i need to do when i saved i need to use this code okay so simply copy this okay and if i go to the controller okay product controller and when it's store completed okay right now i added success message but that's will that are not working right now okay so here what i will do i will simply copy this message and put it over here okay so once product will be created then this pop-up should be come okay like product created successfully with the flash message okay so now let me go here and refresh it okay let me run it again the project so let me clear it and i will say php artisan serve okay and now if i go and refresh okay let me create it so and one thing i want to show you if i click Control u you can see that that's getting the css okay from the our vendor folder that inside the public folder and same thing also js file is included from there okay so you can see that we added two things over here you can see that notify js and css so that's both part i are added over here okay so that's uh, i just want to show you okay now what i need to do and one thing also i want to show you like uh, if i go here notify component so that component is added over here you can see that okay okay now what i will do simply refresh it okay and i will say create okay and i will say product one sorry product one and test okay and hit submit you can see that it's coming but it's behind that so let me go here and add style sheet over here because there is a jade index issue so i will say notify class okay and then i will say jade index and i will simply put important to it okay simply save it okay now refresh it create and i will simply say test to test to and simply save it you can see that program created successfully so you can see that how you can like user will uh, see like uh, they created properly the product okay now let me go here into the documentation again they provide five types of notification right now we add like simple so let me use this connectivity okay so simply copy it okay i just want to show you how it looks okay so simply pay paste it over here okay and i will simply say product created 
and here I will be say product created successfully so simply add that message over here okay and save it okay and now let me go here into the our example so let me refresh it okay and click here and let me create new post test 3 and I will say test 3 click on submit you can see that how beautiful design is that like product created and product created successfully okay then let me show you another as well so you can see darky file okay so let me copy this okay and same thing over here and I will simply say product created successfully save it okay and now let me go here and refresh it okay and let me create another product okay and i will say test 4 and test 4 and click submit you can see that it's beautiful design with the you know background image okay success so same thing let me go and i will use smart smileyfy okay so same thing i will copy and paste and then i will say smileyfy okay save it okay and then i will simply refresh and go over here i will say test 5 test 5 and click submit you can see that it's with the thumb like product created successfully okay same thing let me go and emojify okay so i will say save it okay and now let me go and refresh it okay and click over here and i will say test 6 test 6 and click over here you can see that how beautiful design with the eye of the you know face and like product created successfully so whatever you want to use you can keep use that one like with the success or notify if you want to use simple then you can use first one okay and i also want to show you this is only for success but if there is any error or anything i will just keep in error mode okay and simply create new post okay test 7 test 7 click on submit you can see that product created but there is an error okay you can see that so you can use success and error both as well okay so now what i need to do i will simply make it like success when it store created and same thing when i'm going to update at that time also i want to say updated successfully so i will keep this i will remove this one same thing when i will remove it okay i will use same notify so i will copy it paste it over here and i will say deleted i will remove this flash message okay simply save it and now let me go here refresh it okay now let me edit it and i will say edit hit submit you can see that product updated successfully same thing if i remove it if i click on delete you can see that product deleted successfully same thing again you can see that so easily you can use laravel notify to display your flash message properly with the proper design i hope guys you understand how easily you can do this if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for watching more videos thank you so much for watching guys